in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I took three thrift store items and I changed them into some awesome Christmas decor. So if you want to know how I did it, keep on watching. Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey. So we're going to go into DIY number one right now. Let's go. So... I picked up this wooden wreath and the literally the only reason why I got it is because it was 99 cents and I knew that I could transform it and make it into something that's not what it previously was huh that cha-ching sign was somebody buying a dresser from my Etsy shop if you guys don't know I do have an Etsy shop where I read furniture I do have some items in there currently one is technically about to be bye bye out the door so make sure you drop in my Etsy shop down below always have it linked so let's continue on so the first thing that I did was I removed everything that was previously on there and then I just had a clean slate to work with so I took the little uh, ah, reindeer ornament and I added that reindeer to the center of the wreath and he fit perfectly. So I got this ornament from Michaels and it was only $2 and it was actually 40% off when I bought it. So I just added that to the center and then after that I realized there was something else that needed to be done with this wreath. So I went and got the burlap ribbon. Actually no, not the burlap ribbon, it was the buffalo check ribbon that I got from Joann's and I just added that to the top but first I started to decorate that using the wooden beads that I got from Michaels a while back. So I alternated the beads between small and medium sized and then I just added them right onto the burlap ribbon and then I tied the burlap ribbons on the end and I removed any of the fringe with my scissors and I added it to the back of the wreath. So just to add it to the back of the wreath I just took my hot glue gun and added it that and added it that way and then I also took this leather suede um uh, rope and that I got from Hobby Lobby and I added it to the back as well just to kind of hide um, where I cut the ribbon and I added that using my hot glue and that literally was the end of the DIY that DIY took no time at all um, and you can do this to any little wooden wreath so you can find a wood wreath and do the same exact thing and this will be perfect to hang on your door um to decorate your door or if you have a big huge tree this can actually be an ornament that you add to your tree so i love how this turned out i think it's super cute and you can do this too at home if you like so for my second diy i just picked up this wreath because it literally it was 2 dollars and i was like oh my gosh this is a really good quality wreath and i have to snatch it so i got that wreath brought it home and then i removed everything that was on there so these butterflies and i just snipped away at the ribbon and removed the ribbon and again i had a clean slate to work with with the wreath all right so then i got this sign from the dollar tree which says jingle all the way and literally to remove the jingle all the way part is super easy all you have to do is carefully just peel it off the back and then i also picked up these two little dollar tree ornaments uh they were not dollar tree ornaments they were a dollar but they were from target dollar spot which we honestly need to come up with a different name because there's not that much stuff at the dollar that the target dollar spot anymore that is a dollar and then I got this burlap ribbon from Dollar General which honestly I would not buy this burlap ribbon from the Dollar General because first of all I think it was like $2.99 and I literally used the whole roll for this one ribbon well the the one bow that I will be adding to the top and honestly you can get this same type of burlap ribbon and it's even thicker at Walmart and you will have way more ribbon to work with because yeah for $2.99 and that I would not do that again <laughs> so I created a ribbon to add to the top and then I just took the same buffalo check ribbon and then I created a bow as well to add on top of that burlap ribbon so then I attached everything so I used the little clamp that I got from one of the butterflies and I took that clamp and I glued it back to the back of the burlap ribbon and then I added the buffalo check ribbon on top of that ribbon and then I finally took the little Christmas tree and I removed the twine that was on the top and the other little um metal hoop thing that it had to attach and then I 
added it to the bow with my hot glue. So after I created the ribbon, it was time to start decorating the wreath. So I got these little Starry Night lights from the Target Dollar Spot, and they had the little bells on it, so it matched perfectly with the jingle all the way. So I just wrapped that around the wreath, and I honestly should have went back and got another one to just add a little bit more jingle to my wreath but I just have this one for now so after I wrapped it around the wreath I started to add everything on there so I put my bow at the top and then in the clip I'm gonna be putting the jingle all the way on the left side of this wreath but I removed it and I put it in the center because I just liked how it looked that way <laughs> anyway so I love how this wreath turned out again it was just so simple to fix this and to make it into something that is going to work for my house this is gonna look so good hanging on the door it's gonna be like where our guest bathroom door is and you can do this to again another wreath I'm not a wreath maker but I think this wreath turned out pretty good so for my third DIY, I took this cute little mailbox. It was just like this red little metal mailbox and it was 99 cents and I knew that I could do something different with it. So what did I do? I spray painted it. So I spray painted one coat of just a white flat paint and then I took my heirloom white and I sprayed that on top. All right, so the next thing that I did was I decided to create like this little, the steak part or I don't know, I guess that's what you call it, the steak part of the mailbox. So I just took a piece of scrap wood and I cut it down to size and then I stained it using my Briar Smoke wood stain by Rosalium. So to decorate, I got these stickers from the Target Dollar Spot and I'm going to be using the wooden one that says believe. All you have to do to use these stickers is literally just peel the back off and add it to whatever you want. So that is exactly what I did and I added it to the side of my mailbox and then after I did that I just took this Dollar Tree ornament which I honestly think I use this Dollar Tree ornament every year. So I'm just going to remove the top of the portion of the ornament and then I'm just going to add that to the top of the mailbox. And to do that I'm just going to use my wood glue. So honestly I just kept the little um, twine at the top because this could be this could actually be used as an ornament again if you have a huge tree you can put this on your tree um, but I'm not gonna do that so I just wrapped it around and then I created another bow using some more twine and then I added that bow to the center to kind of hide the zip tie and also like the little glue that you could kind of see from the ornament so after I did that the last step was adding the little block that wooden block to the bottom to have like the little steak part of the mailbox and I just attached that using my wood glue why do I not my wood glue my e6000 and also my hot glue and then I just attached that right to the center of the mailbox and that was it so I'm loving this mailbox it is so cute and I love that I didn't close the top part well I didn't close the front part of the uh, mailbox I just kind of left it open a little bit and I glued it to the side so I like that you can stick like if you make like fake little letters or some gifts or something in there um, and I just think this is so cute so you can add this again to a tree or you could just add it as decor it stands up on its own I love how this turned out and that is literally I mean this DIY was super like you could literally get this done in like 30 minutes when you have all of your materials together and you can totally do this to any of the dollar store um little mailboxes that they have in there currently i'm so happy with how all three of these diys turned out i literally did the smallest of tweaks to each one and if you already have a wreath or if you already have the wood wreath or the mailbox you can totally do these as well and just transform what you already have I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a part of my email list, you're going to want to get on that email list because I have a special offer coming up that I'm super excited about. If you haven't snagged one of my top five power tool PDFs, you can grab that down below as well. That's literally one of the top questions that I get asked. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe up here. And if you haven't checked out my latest video, you can also check it out up here as well. And I will see you in my next one.